farmer's market style pasta. So we got some garlic that's gonna go in. Okay. I've also got our cherry tomatoes here. And we got two pints or a pound of cherry tomatoes. These are washed. Right, I'm gonna drop those in and let those start to cook and break down. I've got my pot here. And we're cooking a pound of penne, so we got enough for the whole family. I'm gonna drop this right on the back here. Let this start to crank up. We're gonna salt this after it comes to a boil, okay? This smells incredible already. And we got another pan here that we're gonna start to cook. Everything else is gonna go into our pasta. Sauce, stuff. I'm gonna take this pan, I'm gonna start to crank it up. I'm also gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. So let this start to preheat. Okay, we got some zucchini, we got some artichokes. I've also got some fresh pork sausage. So we're gonna slice these up, we're gonna peel and slice these, but we're gonna start this off as the base of the pasta dish with some really good sweet fennel pork sausage. We're gonna let that start to brown, extract some of that great fat. So we've got some fresh uh, sausage here, and what we wanna do is actually start our zucchini cooking away in this delicious pork fat, and this is gonna be the base for the dish. So while this pan is still nice and hot, we've got three small zucchini. Let's talk about our artichokes. And what we're gonna do is take the artichoke itself and you wanna dig into the artichoke maybe a quarter of an inch. And then what you wanna do is peel it all the way around. We're gonna take our knife with one cut. All right, so once you get down to this, which is the heart of the artichoke, what we gotta get out is the choke itself. I've got a spoon here, and what we're gonna do is take the spoon, and then you just wanna spin it in a circle. And as it starts to slowly push the choke to the middle, it seems to roll out. And then what you have is a perfectly pruned, ready to go artichoke heart. So we got this, we're gonna cut it in fourths. We have two, so we're gonna have eight pieces. And it's just like a nice little bite. All right, and we're gonna take these guys, we're gonna clean them up, just like this. Um, we're gonna drop them into our lemon water so they stay nice and bright. I've got one done, I'm gonna bang up the other, and then we're gonna saute them with that olive oil and that fresh zucchini. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, finish up our sauce. We're gonna take our tomatoes, get them in the blender here. Now look how thick this is, okay? That's a sign of a good tomato sauce. When we're talking about blending up hot stuff, you want a towel. Put some weight on top of this so it doesn't blow all over the wall. Okay, salt for sure, a little more olive oil, and then I think just a touch of sugar, just a little pinch right on top. And then we're gonna buzz this down one more time. All right, perfect, looking good. I'm just gonna go right into our sauce. Check this out. Isn't that beautiful? Fresh, cheap, cheerful, delicious. And we are so close to eating. I'm starving, guys. All right, cool. All right, penny's gonna come out. We're gonna take the penny and dump this into the sauce. Another really good sign of a great pasta dish. You don't wanna put the sauce on top of the pasta. You wanna put the pasta in the sauce, give it a good toss, and then we're gonna plate the whole thing up family style. I got a big platter over here and really kind of share the experience with friends and family. Look how fresh that looks, huh?